हेलो स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज कविता ग्रेवाल फ्रॉम ब्राइट स्कॉलर सीनियर सेकेंडरी स्कूल सोनीपत वेलकम टू डिजिटल लर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी विल स्टडी क्लास नाइन चैप्टर टू ऑफ बी हाई साउंड ऑफ म्यूजिक द साउंड ऑफ म्यूजिक पार्ट वन हैज ऑलरेडी बीन एक्सप्लेन टू यू एंड दिस इज पार्ट टू द शहनाई ऑफ बिसमिल्ला खान as i have told you that this chapter has two parts and both the parts they are based on music and this chapter is based on indian traditional music so before we start there is an activity for you here is the pictures of musical maestros you need to recognize them and write the musical instrument they play so there is an activity in your book at page number 22 21 so you need to recognize those people and write in the book as well as the instrument they play and the next is you can see the picture of a musician playing shehnai and this is none other than ustad bismillah khan that the chapter is based on so the gist of the chapter is this chapter was written on the theme that music transcends all barriers and it throws light on the origin of shehnai and the life of all time great shehnai wadak bismillah khan the winner of bharat ratna the highest civilian award he is an example of the rich cultural heritage of india that respects talent irrespective of the religion of the artist shehnai came into existence during the reign of emperor aurangzeb he banned the playing of musical instrument called pungi because it had very shrill and unpleasant sound then a barber who belonged to the family of professional musicians he perfected that musical instrument and it was then played in the chamber of the king and the sound produced by shehnai was appreciated by the emperor how it was named shehnai because it was born in shahas chamber and perfected by a nai a barber so it was named shehnai so you can see the picture of pungi and shehnai actually shehnai was an improved form of pungi and it was longer and broader than pungi and had seven holes on its body that would produce melodious sound ustad bismillah khan brought shehnai to the classical stage the sound of shehnai began to be considered auspicious and for this reason it is still played in temples and is an inseparable component of any north indian wedding early life of bismillah khan bismillah khan belonged to a well known family of musicians from bihar his grandfather father and other parental ancestors were also great shehnai players Bismillah was fascinated at watching his uncle's practice the shehnai. He started accompanying his uncle Ali Bax and slowly he started getting lessons in playing the instrument. He would sit practicing throughout the day. The flowing waters of the Ganga inspired him to put together and create ragas. that were earlier considered to be beyond the range of the shehnai and bismillah khan he got a break 
with the opening of the All India Radio in Lucknow in 1938. And soon he became an often heard Shahnai player on radio. Then he was invited by Pandit Nehru to play the Shahnai from the ramparts of Delhi's Red Fort in 1947. Not only this, film director Vijay Bhatt was so impressed after hearing him play at a festival that he named a film after the instrument called Gunj Uthi Shehnai. Bismillah Khan became the first Indian to be invited to perform at the prestigious Lincoln Center Hall in the United States of America. National awards like the Padma Shri, the Padma Bhushan, and the Padma Vibhushan were conferred on him. In 2001, he was awarded with India's highest civilian award, the Bharat Ratna. Despite traveling so many countries, he was exceedingly fond of Banaras and Timbra. He traveled to a number of countries. He declined an offer from one of his students to settle in the United States. He was a great musician and a great human being. Though a devout Muslim, he played Shahnai every day in the Kashi Vishwanath Temple Banaras. And for him, music is God. Music is in his soul. His life is a perfect example of the rich cultural heritage of India. And the message of this chapter is that Indian music is very rich and invigorating. And we need to inherit our traditional music like Bismillah Khan inherited. There is Another lesson also that comes out of the chapter is that one must love one's country and rise above communal feelings. This is all about the chapter and after this reading and understanding of the chapter, you will do homework that will be provided to you in PDF. So stay home, stay safe. God bless you. Thank you.